On August 23, 2020, Jacob Blake was shot multiple times in the back by a police officer in Kenosha, Wisconsin, after officers responded to a call about a domestic dispute, according to the Wisconsin Department of Justice. Within hours, protests began in the city. On the night of August 25, 2020, protesters and groups of armed men who said they were there to protect businesses gathered in Kenosha. Among the armed men was then 17-year-old Kyle Rittenhouse. We don't have non-lethal. Using multiple videos obtained and verified by ABC News, as well as the criminal complaint against Rittenhouse filed on August 27th, we put together a detailed timeline of the shootings that happened in downtown Kenosha on August 25th, 2020, two days after Jacob Blake was shot by the police. This report contains graphic, disturbing images. At 10.04 p.m., a video shows a group of armed men protecting a car shop at the corner of 59th and Sheridan. One young man in a green t-shirt and backwards baseball cap says, A little over an hour later, protesters gathered at an ultimate gas station at 60th and Sheridan. We see a man who appears to be Joseph Rosenbaum, one of the shooting victims, clash with armed men, also gathered. Back at the car shop at 59th and Sheridan, the same young man who appears to be Kyle Rittenhouse can be seen asking law enforcement for water. And the officers can be heard speaking to the group. We appreciate you guys, we really do. At 11.48 p.m., gunshots ring out. Those are gunshots down there. First four bursts, uh -oh. then three. A man who police identified as Rittenhouse runs across the parking lot of an auto service shop, followed by a shirtless man who was later identified as Joseph Rosenbaum. Moments later, shots ring out. And the shirtless man falls to the ground. A figure who appears to be Rittenhouse continues running. Seconds later, he comes back into view, and bystanders arrive to help the victim. Rittenhouse can be seen standing by the body, making a phone call. As more people arrive, he runs away out of frame, and someone seems to be heard saying, I shot somebody. At 11.49, multiple videos show Rittenhouse running down the street as a pursuer tries to hit him. Rittenhouse is being chased by several people when he appears to stumble and fall to the ground. While on the ground, police say he fires at least four shots, striking two people. Anthony Huber is shot and lies motionless in the street. Gage Grosskreutz is shot in the arm and appears to be holding a handgun, according to the criminal complaint. Rittenhouse gets up and runs down the street as police arrive at the scene. People in the crowd can be heard yelling. Rittenhouse raises his hands while his rifle hangs around his torso and a number of police vehicles drive past him. He walks towards a squad car which is parked near the First United Methodist Church. This is the last time we see him on video ABC News obtained. Rittenhouse was not arrested that night in Kenosha. The last night, a 17-year-old individual from Antioch, Illinois, was involved in the use of Police issued an arrest warrant for him the next day, and Kyle Rittenhouse turned himself in in Antioch, Illinois. He was arrested on multiple charges, including first-degree intentional homicide. According to police, Rittenhouse said he was in Kenosha to resolve whatever conflict was in place. In an earlier interview, Rittenhouse said he was there to protect businesses and help people. Rittenhouse's lawyer released a three-page statement arguing his client feared for his life and was acting in self-defense. The shooting left two people dead and another injured. Kyle Rittenhouse pleaded not guilty to charges including first-degree reckless homicide, first-degree intentional homicide, and first-degree recklessly endangering safety. The trial will begin in November 2021, more than a year after his arrest. If convicted, the now 18-year-old faces life in prison.